Miss Elledge, can I have a ruler, please? We always take measurements, just as a guide, so we don't make the hairline a little too low, because the face is kind of divided into thirds. And the trick to a hair transplant is the hairline is not going to be a hard, straight line. You know, everybody's head is not symmetric, meaning one side is not equal to the other. So one side might be a little lower than the other, so forth and so on, a little zig, a little zag here and there. Now what we do is look at the back, because we want to just see this donor area that we're going to map out and use. With the FUE, we kind of shave a, a large area. Now in two days, you'll be surprised how good this is going to look. When we do a donor, at least a donor strip, we do a tiny area, but in you we're going to do a fairly large area back here that we're going to cut down. Roger, while she's doing that, I'm going to explain what I'm going to be doing. Okay. I'm going to be doing the anesthesia part of this. It's done locally, so the anesthesia will just go right under the skin where doctor will be working back there. Okay. And I'm going to also numb the top where he'll be making the recipient sites later. Perfect. <laughs> Very nice. This is, you got good density here, sir. Very good. Mm -hmm. Can you let the chair up, son? Let's take a look here and see how we're looking here. We're starting to punch these out. And Miss Elledge retrieves the punches. And they're coming out pretty well. Okay, I'm separating um, the one and two hairs. This is a one hair graft, two, three, and four. We separate definitely the ones. Ones go in the hairline. That's what makes this procedure look natural. If you have three or four hairs in the hairline, it's going to look like doll hair. It's going to look very fake. Yeah, that's kind of one of the benefits of this procedure, too. You can kind of cherry pick the follicles you want. If you want more density in one area, uh, you can just cherry pick and extract the three and four hair follicles and use them accordingly. So what we've done is we've recreated the hairline in this frontal area with density and placed the sites in the same direction that your hair grows. Raj, <laughs> we're all done. You see all that? Oh yeah, it looks great. It's going to look good. So we got from here forward, that's the frontal region, strengthening the hairline and strengthening behind it. This area here was used to get approximately 900 grafts. In two to three days, this area will look remarkably better. So I always have the patient send me a picture of the back of the head in two to three days to make sure that everything's appropriate. Then again, in a week or two weeks. And then after that, uh, everything's perfect.